myself. <laughs> Great to see you. The man that needs no introduction, but I'll introduce him anyway, Dave Mustaine. How are you? Hi. That's hello, great. everybody. How are you? Say hello to everyone out in the world watching right now. Hi. Live. Uh, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth just finished up the signing. Really happy to have you here at Dean Guitars. And uh, so much to talk about. First of all, something really cool that we're doing today, that ve <laughs> the vehement peace cells guitar that is right in the corner. You're, which she pretty? You're making me blush. She's so sexy. Hold on, wait. Okay. Am I blushing? I might be blushing. Okay. So uh, the vehement peace cells guitar that you just signed, we we're going to be giving away today. It's a rad guitar. And uh, anybody that's watching, retweet the stream off of uh, twitter.com slash deanguitars and you're automatically entered to win. We'll be picking that winner today before five o'clock. And uh, tell me, how are you doing? I mean, we've been reading that you guys just finished up doing some, some Megadeth music, so. Yeah, we're actually in the studio right now working on a new record. We we have a new label. We left Roadrunner and, and our, we completed our contract with them, which not a lot of metal bands uh, have the luxury of being able to complete contracts. You know, they usually either break up or quit or, you know, give up on stuff like that. But we, we were uh, honorable and finished our contract with them and we moved on. And, and uh, we've actually... Uh, um, got a, a fantastic relationship with a brand new label that we're going to be telling everybody about real soon and uh, we went into the studio we have 11 songs that we've already recorded and uh, we want to give them 13 because you know the b-sides and the Japanese releases right. and all that kind of crazy stuff and um, so we're, we're almost done with all of that stuff I'm excited about the music you know David Ellison is one of those guys that's kind of the barometer of the band you know, you ask me, you never really know what you're going to get. But when you ask David Ellison, it's kind of like, you know, reading the ingredients on the back of something because he's just a straight shooter. And, you know, he told uh, some people the other day that this is music that's really similar to Killing Is My Business. Some of the stuff, really dark, real heavy and fast stuff. I mean, I don't think it's really as fast and heavy as Killing Is... To, to me, but you know, uh, Junior's a great, uh, uh, like, like I said, barometer, bad word, but you know, he, he knows what's going on. Um, you, uh, the relationship with the band right now, we're all getting along really great. You know, everybody is uh, having a great time. Chris Broderick, what a great guitar player. Deshaun Driver's playing his butt off, and, and uh, Dave and I are getting along great right now. We're, we're excited. We, um, we're going to be, meant, we're going to be, uh, uh, debuting the name of the record soon. We've been giving little clips of some of the music on our website and, and on Dean's website. And uh, we, um, it's, just, it's just a great time to be in Megadeth. Yeah, and uh, it's a great time to be a Megadeth oh, fan. Cute. God, oh so my sexy. goodness. Woof. So uh, anyway, Megadeth, uh, new album, we'll be hearing about it soon. New label, you can tell us how, I mean, I won't tell anybody. Tell you what. When the camera's off, you'll tell me? Tell you what. Okay. Tell oh, you what. You know, who the label is, what the record's called. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, you guys are going to be hearing about it soon. I know. And um, you know what? If someone can actually bring over uh, your new signature guitar, maybe we can take a look at it. I wanted to talk to you about your new, uh, your new signature. Absolutely. It's a really cool looking uh, design. And Zero? Uh, yes. The, and God We Trust. Yes. Yeah. It's really cool. And obviously, um, hold on, let's take a look oh, at this. Oh, let's one. actually look at this okay. one. So, so tell me the story so behind this. Josh has taken over with the guitar line. And uh, this is the... Uh, Double neck, uh, Dean, Dave Mustaine signature, 12 string, six string guitar. It's called the Diadems. Um, the artwork it really shouldn't have any bearing on the playability of this guitar. If you don't like the artwork, you can get the guitar without the artwork, or you can always spray paint. I wouldn't over like it. that though. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool because it's kind of like you know the the end of. Uh, humanity, whatever, you know, as far as like, you know, growing up in Sunday school and stuff, you know, we were taught, you know, the battle of good and evil and stuff. But, I mean, if you boil it down to its lowest common denominator, this guitar plays like a monster. It's a 12-string, 6-string, and it reminds me, like, when I was a kid, I always saw Jimmy Page playing that SG, 12-string, 6-string, and, and I gotta tell you, Jimmy, you need to play this, because that SG doesn't even come close. <laughs> And is this what you played during the, in the Big Four? Yeah, I did. Wow. Uh, well, not this particular model, because this is a um, that model was a one-off. This is now the the production model, so they've refined it. And this is even better than the one that I was playing. Very cool. Well, this is an yeah. awesome-looking guitar, and now it's got your signature on it. Let's look at your uh, your your new signature. Oh, and there's only 75 worldwide of that guitar that we just looked at, by the way. Just so you know. Yeah. Let's talk about this new one. 
This is a zero. Uh, the guitar was actually, uh, the name of it was a Z. And when uh, I talked to Dean about, you know, picking up this guitar, because I initially, before I started playing a Flying V, I loved the Explorer body shape. <coughs> and um, when when I saw that they had a Z and nobody was playing it, I said, hey, can I, can I help you hot rod this guitar? We'll call it a zero and we'll, we'll, we'll make it much more, um, you know, streamlined as far as like playing ability, make it more more sharp in the corners and, and stuff like that, and change some of the electronic positions around on it, change the way that the, 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 the neck curvature is, so on and so forth. Stuff that, you know, uh, to, to people that aren't guitar players that are just interested in, in you know, Dean uh, artists and stuff like that, this guitar it, it has got playing ability that, that is like unsurpassed. But for you that are guitar players, you, you're gonna know that the, the accessibility up to the 24th fret here there's nothing getting in your way except your your own fear. For me, looking at this guitar, it's cool graphics, but the, the, the most important thing, again, is the playability. Yeah, um, it, it talks a lot about the currency in the United States right now, the dollar crashing. Um, we've changed a lot of the images. It says, in death we trust, and so on and so forth. I was really blown away when I saw this the first time. Um, you know, the, the artists and the graphic artists, the, the, the people who do the airbrushing and a lot of the illustrations for Dean, um, they're some of the best that I've, I've ever seen. You know, I've been with a couple of guitar companies before. I've been with Dean for seven years now, and, and uh, it's just it just gets better and better and better. I, you know, th so far this year, being at the NAMM show, you know, you saw the people down there. It was exciting. It was, you know, the, the people, there was tons of people. And, and they're all just happy to, to see us, you know, to continue on with our relationship. And and the most important thing, again, you know, is, is like the playability of the guitar player. For you that are guitar players, and this thing sounds so rad. you got to try it. If, if you can't afford to buy one, at least go into a guitar store and play try one. Try it out. Let me, yeah. you know, just going back to the design for a second, by the way, which is really cool. The design is in the headstock as well, which I don't believe they've done before. Yeah, they, they've never done a graphic up on the headstock, so this is a first. Usually the headstock was a solid color. Yeah, like all they, the other ones are yeah, solid. They, they would have a solid color and they would have the, the wings, uh, whether it was um, th this wide wing like that, the six in line, or they would do the three on each side. Um, this is a first, so I'm, I'm super, super excited about it. You know. Um, like I said, I've been with other guitar companies before, but I've never felt the way that, that I feel, uh, the treatment that I get from Dean. For, for those of you that are budding guitar players, man, you've got to check out this company, because if you got the goods, these guys are going to look after you, I promise you. Yeah, I mean, you know, just going back to that, this week you just announced your ongoing relationship with Dean. It's, it's been a long time, and obviously you mentioned that you've been with other companies before. You know, what was the difference for you, and what made you, you know, want to continue this relationship? Well, I simply said, you know, I mean, it's really easy to say, well, it's the money because a lot of people nowadays are in it for the money. But it has nothing to do with that because the guitar companies in the past, you know, it, it was never about that. It was about the guitars and, and you know, guitar sales uh, now with the economy the way that it is. <coughs> um, you know, we're all struggling to try and make ends meet. So it was never about percentages or, or commission or anything like that. It was about the way that they treated me. They they treat me like I'm one of their family and, and not like, oh, he's a rock star, which sometimes can, you know, have its negative side to it. Or like, oh, well, you know, he's he's like a, a purchaser. They treat me like a human being. And, and it is just so unbelievable the way that, you know, you, you say, hey, there's something that's that's going on with this fret here. You know, and, and immediately the, the factory changes things. They go in and they meticulously look at the dressing of the frets. For again, for you guys that are guitar players, you know what I'm talking about. And and when the pressure's on and you're playing and and you know, people are listening to you, especially like if you're in, in, in the studio. A lot of guys in the studio, you know, they'll use stuff like Paul Reed Smith guitars because they're reliable and they're they're you know, they're like uh, you know, sensitive guitars and stuff like that. Wake up. Dean's the guitars to be playing. You guys have to check these guitars out. They're responsive, they sound good, they play good. And and if you have any respectability at all, any self respect at all, you'll check these guys out. I mean, what more can be said? And we're happy to have you part of the Dean family and uh, excited for you with this new line and uh, this new signature model. And with everything that's going on with Megadeth, I can't wait to hear new music. 
It's pretty cool. You know, uh, uh, for me, it kind of reminds me a lot of Countdown and a lot of Rust in Peace. <clears throat> the funny thing is, like, <clears throat> I mean, again, to talk, you know, kind of like, you know, letting you guys see behind the, the Iron Curtain. You know, I, I walked out of the control room the other day, and David Elson's sitting in the chair, and he's going like this with his hand. And I said, Junior, what's wrong with your hand? And he goes, man, I haven't played this much in years. <laughs> and I was like, really? <laughs> so it was kind of flattering to know that, guy that's as talented as David Ellison is getting his ass kicked by this music. So I'm hoping you guys will like this record as much as we do. And you'll be hearing it real soon because you can definitely check out a lot of uh, the new stuff, um, the video clips that we put up at Dean. We have them at our website, but we also have them exclusively at Dean. So check it out. Awesome. And um, if I can touch on for a moment, if you don't mind, because I think it was kind of an interesting story what went down prior to the holidays with the men's warehouse debacle. Is it okay for me to bring that up? <laughs> anyway, you know what? You have a, a strong opinion. Your fans listen to you. And <laughs> you should really follow, if you're not already, follow Megadeth and Dave Mustaine online because you're an honest person and you speak from the heart and you tell people you tell people like it is. Well, so. it's like this. You know, we, we don't all have the luxury to be rock stars and have a lot of money to be able to buy what we want. And and I'm, I'm a guy that I consider myself to be salt of the earth. And if someone's going to mess with me, they're going to mess with you. And if they're going to mess with you, they're messing with me. And I'm looking out for people. I don't like people messing with me and I don't like people messing with you. And I'm going to say something. Something. And when Anderson Cooper says stuff about me, like, oh, I'm trying to embarrass you, maybe he was just pissed because I didn't buy his mother Gloria Vanderbilt suits. I don't know. But the thing is, I like the guy. And you know what? It didn't work. Trying to make fun of me, it didn't work, Anderson. It didn't work. Well, Metal Jackie, obviously Dave Mustaine with us here today. So happy to have you uh, doing the signing. Can't wait to hear more Megadeth music. And, uh, you know, excited to have this continuing relationship uh, with Dean Guitars. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to hang You're out with welcome. us. You're, You're welcome. You're awesome. Love you guys.